Okay, so the other day I saw a kid at the park and he was riding a scooter and I wanted a scooter, so I went out and got this. Then I realized I'm too heavy for it. Weight limit, 60 pounds. Oops. So then I got this, weight limit 250, should be good. And I liked it, I really did, until one day I realized it trips me up with these small tires. So then, I went out and got a better scooter. Introducing the Razor with eight inch solid tires and it folds. But as much as I enjoy it, I'm, I'm uh, not too heavy for it. Well, as much as I enjoy it, I soon realized I can't go off-roading with these, even with the 8-inch tires. So then I realized I just need bigger tires. Introducing my kid's 16-inch tires from his old bike. Then I went out and bought this aluminum rail I'm going to use to extend this piece to accommodate a larger tire. So the first thing we have to do is take off these two wheels. Looks like it's a uh, hex bolt and then the front looks like it's hex as well. Basically we're going to be extending these arms on the front and then on the rear. And uh, yeah, it should be able to accommodate a larger tire. Basically, I'm gonna to try to use these existing holes here and then drill one more right here in the frame to mount this extender on that will allow us to have the bigger wheel. And I did spend the extra money to make sure this was all aluminum. It's quite thick. I think it'll be strong enough. I think it's actually the same, same gauge this is here. So, we'll see. Okay, so I just realized this brake um, it's no longer going to be used, which I never used it anyways. You just use your feet to brake on the scooter. But it's got a hole that mounts the brake. And I think we can use this hole and this hole without drilling any additional holes in the frame. I'm hoping. Um, so that would be nice. Okay, so I just realized that this hole and this hole, because of the bend, will not line up. So I'm going to have to drill. Let's see, it doesn't quite it's not getting enough holes right here anyways so we're gonna have to drill somewhere around here before the bit okay got these arms put on both sides of it here um we gotta drill some holes mount the tire anyways that was a little involved okay so got it half done still gotta do the front Let's see if it'll hold the uh, weight. It rubs a little bit. Need to put a little spacer in. Okay, so I got these front forks put on. I think I might put like a side support going on the outside. But for now, I just got to draw these holes a little bigger and put this tire on it. Okay, this is it. Um... I wasn't able to use the same size tire on the front and the back and that's caused quite quite an angle on the, the platform for your feet. But I, I think it adds a little bit of a cool look to it. But here it is. But the real question is, can we go off road with it? The answer is yes. <laughs>